Okay, let's do this. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're looking for any details about what I'm wearing on my face, well you're just gonna have to wait until my next video. But I have filmed this exact video already, but it was late at night, I didn't like it, so as with a lot of things that I film, I just ended up scrapping it just because I didn't feel like it would make a good video. So long story long, per usual, I'm here to give a life update. Whether you are a newer subscriber or you've been around for a while, you probably noticed that I didn't finish Vlogmas 2023. And that's okay, I I, st I got behind to a point that I kept thinking, well, I'll get caught up after Christmas, and then I'll get caught up after the new year. And then I just never did, and I felt like, well, no one is asking, and it's going to be fine, I can just <laughs> explain later, or just, it'll, it'll be fine, is the short of it. So I wanted to give a life update today because as great as this year has been, it has also been a lot. It's been a whirlwind of a year, like literally even this past week. I'm filming this on Sunday, September 29th. I'm hoping to get it out this coming week, so like the first week of October. But even this last week was such a, like, a lot of moving parts that I just needed to be in a place where I could sit down, film this video, and just get everything out that I need to say. Just so that we're all on the same page, everybody knows what's happening over here, and that way when Vlogmas does end up coming back around again, everyone is caught up, and you know why things are gonna look a little bit different this year. For starters, like I said, I didn't finish Vlogmas because I got two days behind and that became a, like the rest of Vlogmas behind. And so instead of catching up and getting to where I could complete it, I just decided to scrap the last four days of Vlogmas. As I had said at the time, and I'll reiterate if anybody missed those videos or you just maybe forgot and could use a refresher, 2023 was a difficult year. I would argue the first like quarter of it was very trying for me personally in a lot of ways and it didn't just stop because certain things happened. It just kind of carried over and so I was dealing with a lot in my personal life. I didn't change jobs but just without getting into detail basically like a lot of things happened. So I was doing my best to try to keep up with it and I couldn't and that's okay. I uh, have always said that I will always be honest with my audience. I'm never going to come on here and make it seem like everything's okay when it's not. And so there were days that definitely I felt lower energy. I do my best not to just like put on this excited face for camera and then I literally get in bed and start crying. Like I'll do everything I can to be honest without like sitting on the internet and crying. Does that make sense? So cut to January of this year. I knew at the start of this year that it was entirely possible that some things may come up, but if you have seen my 2024 bingo card, some of the things I put and thought like that's never going to happen and they did. I don't know what happened this year. It seemed like every artist that I love decided to go on tour. February is not only Andrew's birthday month, but also Valentine's Day, and we ended up taking a trip to La Paz, Mexico, where my bonus aunt lives to go see the gray whales. That was awesome. Back in March is kind of where all the announcements for things started happening. This was like my summer of concerts and like travel that basically happened. The first part of this year, like work-wise, we hit the ground running. It was super busy, which I was not expecting. I'm very grateful that it was, but I was very much like so busy with work that I felt like I couldn't just stop and, you know, do any updates uh, that would do justice to truly how much has happened. <laughs> In March, I went to the Trixie Motel with my best friend. I never did, I don't think, end up filming a video about it. I do have some clips, so I could talk about it. I may just end up doing like a mukbang about it and adding some clips from that road trip because I did my best to just be in the moment and enjoy that trip. Side note, the Trixie Motel, it's beautiful. My goal, um, and I'm just gonna say it because I have said a lot of things and then they ended up happening, so I don't know if that's 
the same as manifesting, but I'm just gonna put it out there. My goal at some point in life is to stay in every single room at the Trixie Motel. So we stayed in the Flower Power Suite, 10 out of 10, cannot recommend it enough. It was beautiful, I loved it. The pool was amazing. We were in there for like hours <laughs> and it was open. I think it was open 24 hours. So we were in there for, I wanna say like two hours, just yapping. It was amazing. I would definitely go back in a heartbeat. That was in March. And then in April, Sasha, who was our oldest cat, she was, we want to say like 23 years old. She, she has an interesting life story, which I can explain. But anyway, so she was our oldest cat. She got very sick and had some kidney problems and ended up passing away. So now it's just the boys, uh, Ollie and Scout, and then Duke are our only pets. That happened. We were kind of dealing with that for a little bit. Um, she had gotten sick before she ended up passing away, so it, it was just a lot to deal with at the time. April kind of like kickstarts birthday season as well. So um, one of our nieces, her birthday is in April. My nephew's birthday is in May. His kindergarten graduation was in May. And then my niece, uh, one of my other nieces is born in June. In June, I went to go see Megan the Stallion which I can also talk about in a separate video, but I'll just, that was definitely the highlight of June. Went to Vegas to go do that. Then in July, we went back to Salt Lake City, one of our <laughs> favorite, shocking, well, not shockingly, it's, I guess, surprising to me, but I love Salt Lake City, I think it's great. We went back to Salt Lake City to go see A Day to Remember, so that happened. August was kind of like, in a way, I guess, the slow month because there wasn't a trip in August. I do think though that I ended up going to visit family that month. And then September, I didn't know <laughs> what my birthday trip was gonna be for the most part, which again, I can explain in a different video, but I'm trying to just be as concise and to the point as possible. But I knew that my birthday trip was gonna be September 7th till the 15th. So that was like a bulk of of the trip and then I also I want to say this was back in like January that we planned to go on a cruise me and then a couple of my girlfriends so we went to Tampa and then we took the train to West Palm Beach and then took the Margaritaville at sea cruise to the Bahamas and I just got home on Friday so it's Sunday <laughs> I've been home for a couple days now so it's it's been a lot there was a, a lot of travel a lot of really great things a lot of highs so it's been a really good year overall so now that things have calmed down a bit and I'm at least not going on a trip for another couple weeks I just wanted to sit down and film this video and say thank you for anyone who is still subscribed to this channel or who is watching I appreciate you I'm trying to not apologize as much not in the sense that like I'm not open to any like criticism or feedback but just instead of apologizing for what could be perceived as shortcomings be thankful for people's patience and flexibility so I am thankful if you're if you stuck around that you have been understanding that I am also like a person Person before I'm a content creator and I have a life I have a full-time job and that it's not because I don't care or because I don't think about these things it's just that where life last year really just like Cleveland steamrolled over me life this year has been so great and I've been so grateful to have so many opportunities happen and things come up that I've been able to do but that it did kind of take away from me being able to upload as consistently. I have though gotten so much better with TikTok. So I will do my one plug for my other socials. Instagram and TikTok are where I'm most active. My username is a hot piece of cast if you'd like to follow me there. I think that's everything for now. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of like our remodels and stuff that have happened. We haven't really done as much work to the house this year because everything was kind of done last year and like, so many different parts. I do have some ideas for Vlogmas coming up. I think that's everything. Again, I cannot stress enough. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any video requests, I am gonna be catching up. I have a couple of those, but if you have any more, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will be back sooner than you might think for another video. So I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.